Why is earthing necessary in electrical systems? Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video blog post. In this episode, we'll be discussing an important topic in electrical systems, earthing. So, let's dive right in and explore why earthing is necessary. To begin with, let's understand what earthing is and why it is necessary. Earthing is a process that involves conducting excess electricity flowing through the body of an electrical device. It serves as a safety feature to prevent injury to individuals and protects against electric shocks. The primary purpose of earthing is to protect you from electric shocks. It achieves this by providing a path, known as a protective conductor, for fault currents to flow into the ground. Additionally, it triggers the operation of protective devices, such as circuit breakers or fuses, which disconnect the faulty circuit from the electric current. One of the crucial aspects of grounding your electrical systems is to safeguard both building occupants and equipment from the dangers of high voltage. When a conductive surface, like metal, is not grounded and becomes electrically energized, it can carry enough voltage to deliver a fatal shock. Now, let's explore some of the key advantages of electrical earthing. Firstly, earthing ensures the safety of electrical appliances and devices by diverting excessive amounts of electric current. This prevents the appliances from getting damaged and also reduces the risk of electrical fires. Secondly, earthing facilitates the flow of electric current directly into the ground. This prevents the accumulation of static charges and helps maintain a stable electrical environment. Thirdly, earthing plays a vital role in safeguarding buildings from lightning strikes. By providing a low resistance path, it channels the lightning's energy safely into the ground, preventing structural damage and potential fires. Now, let's address the question, what happens if there is no earthing? Without an earth wire, if a fault occurs and the live wire becomes loose, there is a danger that it may come into contact with the case. This poses a serious risk of electric shock to anyone using the appliance. Therefore, the earth wire is connected to the case and grounded through a metal plate or water pipe underground. Lastly, let's clarify the difference between earthing and grounding. Earthing and grounding are often used interchangeably, but there is a subtle difference between the two. Earthing primarily focuses on preventing electric shocks by providing a path for fault currents. On the other hand, grounding is primarily used to address unbalancing issues when an electrical system becomes overloaded. To summarize, earthing is an essential aspect of electrical systems, serving to protect individuals, equipment, and buildings from the dangers of electric shocks, fires, and lightning strikes. By providing a safe path for fault currents and diverting excessive electricity into the ground, earthing ensures the safety and reliable operation of electrical systems. That brings us to the end of this video blog post. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. If you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts on earthing, Please leave a comment below. Stay safe and see you in the next video.